hey what's going on youtube so a lot of you guys have been asking me what happened and it was definitely rough to figure out all like get all the information and try to figure this out by myself and having to spread the message and information throughout all the other streamers that are in the lost art community it it was definitely getting a lot of um um attention but not fast enough to be able to warn literally everybody so i wanted to make this video and um spread awareness about what was going on um through it all and what got me banned on twitch which um yeah definitely definitely deserved but i knew what i was doing and i just i just knew that this wasn't right and it just had to be done and i'll take one for the team if i if i must uh we are talking about a known person in the community that was definitely trying to integrate themselves within every community as much as possible to basically pull off the scheme and try to scam as many people as they they can and whether it was in a short amount of time or long term um this person is a a known scammer in in singapore which has previously scammed before in another community for thousands of dollars and will definitely show all that evidence um later on in this video i just wanted to show uh who we're talking about which is um this person named snowy aka um owens and the main reason why i found that out was because um they changed their their twitch um username now this is a website for for me to see their recent activities they changed their profile picture and and also their names as well um i do recognize this name they followed me before under this name and then changed it and i remember them changing it and that's why i was always sus um, suspicious about this person um they identified themselves during during the time that they're integrating themselves in the com uh, community as a as a girl she slash her is their pronoun that, uh, that they wanted to go by but i always knew him as owen which to me is a is a guy name so i all i i, I never i never thought of them as a girl i just always knew them as this another person now everybody was saying well you know they they could be doing you know they could be using preferred pronouns which is fine if you're a guy and you prefer your pronouns to be she slash her go for it but at least um label it as such which they never did they i mean they 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 labeled themselves as like, i mean like they they never labeled themselves as anything they just had everybody assume because everybody that i've asked before most of them have at least said that that was said in like in public and everything most of them has has said that they just assumed because of their profile picture and um the way that they talk um, even even on streams they had a, a PNG of of an anime girl so everybody just assumed they they did stream with no microphone so of course n there's a lot of people that were unsure of of everything um this is owens confirming that there are owens there is other stories of um him saying oh owen was my ex-boyfriend and he's in australia and i lost contact and he was the one that made the profiles and everything for me that was another story that he went with that was completely false of course 
and this is to show that you know he actually confirms that it is him um another another evidence is this is um him privately telling somebody that he prefers the pronoun she which is completely fine but he never announced that he never labeled it or anything like that everybody everybody else that i've talked to has just assumed um throughout his stream um this is him showing pictures of quote unquote himself or herself at this situation because of the pronoun right the whole pronoun thing and that was pretty much the, the thing that was driving me crazy and and having me to kind of take a step back and and think that maybe this person isn't bad maybe this person isn't trying to trick people or anything but all these p pictures were literally used to um create this whole um alias a, a different a different alias of theirs that this is this is indeed them but these were definitely stolen pictures um this is an this is another person that i i recently talked to um charmaine and they were telling me um i i found their tweet about the like all the previous scams that he's done in the local community of singapore this was a local community in singapore for valorant and there's so many screenshots of them like sending uh information and and asking for money um it's just it it got to the point where it literally came up to thousands they they've scammed um this person says they, they scammed over 50 plus people amounting to thousands of dollars and nobody expected it nobody called them out at all this was last year the um that they were scamming and from what Charmaine was telling me they were scamming even before last year they they've been scamming for for quite a while and the fact that nobody spoke up about it is is why he kept getting away with it until Charmaine actually brought it up November November of last year so it hasn't even been a full year yet and he was already starting to scam people in the lost art community um this this is basically the the excuses that he would use like people would un like wouldn't understand how or why people would like how he would scam people with uh by getting their money and why people would actually give him money these were the excuses that he would be using this is just one type of it and of course i feel like anybody that has like a, a a heart for somebody that's been in the community um long enough or has been there on a daily basis like in chat always talking they were also streaming as well of course somebody would be kind enough to to lend them you know 15 to 50 dollars because that was literally the amount that he was asking for right i i completely understand how others can see it as well why would you give money to a stranger but when we're playing games especially an mmo and we're always there for each other every day and um if like the person was streaming as well if there's st if they're a streamer like of course they would have some type of uh reputable a reputable um like just a good reputation in the community right and that's what this person was doing they were literally going around and making themselves known you know gathering good reputation for themselves and that's you know why people were giving this person money um they were basically just creating sob stories 
and playing with other people's heartstrings. So this is what happened. You know, there, there, there's some evidence that I'm showing right now of people actually sending them money and it, it sucks. It really does suck because taking, they're taking advantage of, of good people and Lost Ark is honestly one of the, it's a very small community, but it's definitely one of the best communities that, that I've, that I've seen over the years of streaming on Twitch. So I definitely did a ton of research and I've tried my best to, um, figure everything out, make sure, making sure that the, the evidence was a hundred percent that this, this person was doing this. I didn't want to call out anybody that was innocent. And that took me three days, three days of, of losing a lot of sleep and the day of, um, releasing the information, I was planning to just talk to them privately because like I said, they, they did integrate themselves very well into everybody's community. And on top of that was a streamer. So I wanted to be professional about it and actually confront them privately. But during the times of getting more information, more evidence, I've realized that they already started scamming the month after they changed their username. So I did what I had to do. I, I stayed up for over 14 hours trying to spread it as fast as I can. I made sure that I try to get as many people to know all the information, all the, uh, given all the evidence and everything to, um, help spread the news as fast as possible because I didn't want them to figure out what I was doing and trying to make a run for it and try to ask for more money before they got caught. So I stayed up for a very, very long time trying to spread the word as much as I can to many, as many people as I can and hope that Lost Ark was the Lost Ark community was, was aware of this person and just be safe. Now I was banned on Twitch, like I said earlier, because I, I pretty much was mad at the whole situation. The fact that I, I had to find out this information, the fact that I had to just realize that this was going on, especially in our community. That's what definitely set me off. And I did expose some of our personal information, phone numbers, emails, the, the real picture about themselves. I, I did expose all that. And I understand that my Twitch ban was valid. So I will be taking that 30 day vacation and um, if you guys needed more evidence or, or you guys don't believe me or anything, I'll leave my discord and I can show more evidence for you guys. But um, this was this was something that definitely hit home for all of us because this is our community. So I just wanted to protect that as much as possible. Even if it meant, you know, me being banned on Twitch. But yeah. Um, thank you for listening. I hope that you can spread this message to everybody else throughout the Lost Ark community. I appreciate you guys. Thanks.